Have you just been prescribed LVANS or VIVANS and want to know exactly how it works? In this video, I'll break it all down, how the medication works in your body, including specific side effects. I'll also answer some of the most common questions I get asked in my clinic, like can you drive while taking it? Can you drink alcohol? What's the LVANS VIVANS crash? And will it show up on a drug test? Stay tuned for everything you need to know. So what exactly is lisdexamphetamine? LVANS is the brand name in the UK and in the US it's called VIVANS. It's used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, commonly known as ADHD. It comes in a capsule form taken once a day. So how do ADHD medications work? Experts don't completely understand how ADHD medications work. We know they affect certain chemical messengers in the brain, particularly dopamine and noradrenaline. So how does LVANS, VIVANS work in the body? Lisdexamphetamine is an inactive prodrug contained in the capsule. When it's taken orally and absorbed from the gut into the bloodstream, it's converted into dexamphetamine or deamphetamine, as seen in these diagrams, which is responsible for its activity. So what's a prodrug? A prodrug is a medication that isn't active on its own. Instead, your body transforms it into one or more active substances. For example, lisdexamphetamine, the prodrug, is broken down into L-lysine and D-amphetamine, which actually do the work in your body. Prodrugs are designed this way to improve how well the medication dissolves, how easily it's absorbed and distributed, and how much of it is available to your system overall. So who cannot take it? Before you start taking your medication, it's important that your doctor knows if you are pregnant, trying for a baby or breastfeeding. If you have ever had a problem with drug interactions or alcohol misuse. If you have a heart problem or any problems with blood vessels. If you have ever had any uncontrollable movement such as a nervous tick or a condition called Tourette's syndrome. If you have any liver or kidney problems. If you have an overactive thyroid gland, if you have epilepsy, have high blood pressure, or have an eye problem called glaucoma. If you have a mental health problem, for example, psychosis or bipolar disorder. If you have a rare inherited blood condition called porphyria. If you are taking any other medicines, this includes any medicines which are available to buy without a prescription, as well as herbal and complementary medicines, or if you have ever had an allergic reaction to a medicine. So what's the dose? The starting dose is usually 20 to 30 milligrams daily, taken in the morning. This dose may be increased over the following few weeks, which will mean taking a different strength of capsule. The maximum dosage is 70 milligrams a day. It's not important whether it's taken before or after food, but it's better to take it with food as the onset can be quite harsh without food for some people. But try to remember to take each dose at the same time every morning. If a dose is forgotten, don't take it later in the day as this can cause sleeping problems. Skip the dose for that day, but remember to take a dose the next day as normal. And don't take two doses together to make up for a missed dose. The capsules can be swallowed whole or you can open them up and stir the contents in a glass of water or orange juice or into soft food such as yogurt. If you do this, the mixture must be stirred well until the medicine is dissolved and then swallowed straight away. So how is the medication monitored and titrated? This is decided with your doctor at the start to find the most suitable dose for you that is most effective and best tolerated from the side effects. You will meet with your prescribing clinician every two to three weeks to review your progress on a particular dose of the medication and decide whether to continue or increase the dose. During the medication titration, you will be required to check your weight, your heart rate or pulse, and blood pressure before starting the medication and then at least weekly during the titration process. 
monitor for tics, which are fast, repetitive muscle movements that result in the sudden and difficult to control body jolts or sounds. Monitor for any sexual dysfunction. Check if there are any new seizures or worsening of an existing seizure. If there are any changes in sleep pattern, for example, if you're keeping a sleep diary. And if there are any changes in behavioral responses to the medication. Once you are stable on your medication, you will be reviewed every six months or sooner if you have any issues or concerns. So what are the common side effects? Typically, side effects are more likely in the first few days of starting your medication or increasing a dose. It may take a few weeks for you to adjust to the side effects. The most common symptoms seen in my clinic include decreased appetite, which can lead to weight loss or poor weight gain, feeling irritable, headaches, dry mouth, sleeping problems, increased heart rate or increased blood pressure. But there are many more that you can see on these charts. If you have any issues or concerns, discuss these with your prescribing clinician. So what are the drug interactions? There are medications that can affect the way ADHD medication works and vice versa. This table shows the possible interactions as recorded by the manufacturer of Elvans, Takeda. It is important that you disclose all the medications that you take to your prescribing clinician who can check for any potential drug-to-drug -drug interactions and discuss them with you before prescribing your ADHD medication. So let's now answer some frequently asked questions in my clinic. Can I drive whilst taking Alvans? If you are a driver, please be aware that Liz Dexamphetamine is likely to affect your reactions and ability to drive. It is an offence to drive while your reactions are impaired. Even if your driving ability is not impaired, should you drive, you are advised to carry with you some evidence that the medicine has been prescribed for you a repeat prescription form or a patient information leaflet from the pack is generally considered suitable. Can I drink alcohol? You should not drink alcohol whilst being treated with Lisdexamphetamine. One reason is because Elvans and alcohol work in opposite ways. Elvans activates your central nervous system while alcohol slows it down. The central nervous system helps regulate thinking, actions, breathing and more. This means that Elvans and alcohol could conceal each other's effects. Do I need to take it every day? Now, some people do take breaks from the medication for one or two days, once a week or a month. It's always best to agree this with your doctor before you take any breaks. And what's the Elvans crash? An Elvans or Vivans crash describes symptoms that can occur when your medication is not taken as prescribed and the medication starts to wear off. Also known as the Elvans or Vivans come down, this crash includes feelings of anxiety, irritability, tiredness, mood swings and a return of ADHD symptoms such as trouble concentrating. The active metabolite in the medication stays in your system for about two to three days after a dose. However, more than half the dose will be out of your system after about 11 hours. Alvans is routinely taken in the morning to help with attention during daytime tasks. A crash or rebound effect usually occurs in the afternoon or evening when the drug levels are dwindling. It can also happen when a dose is missed. So will Elvans or Vivans show up in a drug test? Once you take your medication, the average time it takes the active drug to leave the body and be undetectable in a urine drug test is roughly two and a half days, which is 60 hours. But this time can vary from person to person, depending on your age, weight, genetics, dose, and how frequently it is taken. Other medications that you take and your kidney function. So what about traveling abroad with this type of medication? Now, Lisdexamphetamine is classed as a controlled drug in the UK and has special requirements. 
If you're leaving the UK with medicine that contains a controlled drug, you should be able to prove it's yours with either a prescription or a letter from your clinician. Now, other countries have their own import laws for prescription medicines and controlled drugs. You could get a fine or go to prison if you travel with medicine that is illegal in another country. Check with the embassy of the country you're going to before you travel. Or you could email the Home Office for more advice on leaving the UK with controlled drugs. If you would like to learn more about traveling with medication, I will leave a link to a video below. Now, are there lifestyle changes that could help? Research indicates that dietary changes may help individuals with ADHD. For instance, cutting down on sugar and boosting protein intake can improve gut health, which is closely tied to brain function. Additionally, recent studies show that regular exercise, along with appropriate vitamin and mineral supplementation, can also support ADHD management. We hope this video has helped you understand how ADHD medications like Alvans and Vivans work and provided clarity on important details such as dosage, side effects and patient considerations. If you have any further questions, always consult your healthcare provider and stay informed and take care of your health. Thank you for watching.